All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn a two minute job into a one and a half hour project. And so basically, um, a friend of mine just got this uh, string of uh, LED lights, and it uh, is the three cell type, right? Which is, in my opinion, complete bullshit. These should be made illegal. Uh, so right, you're just basically filling up landfills with this kind of crap. I mean, they do last quite long because as the as the voltage of the cells will go down, these will also draw significantly less current, right? So, eh, they'll last a while, but still, I don't know, why would you sell this instead of this, right? So just have them be USB powered and then, right, you don't need the cells. Everyone has like 50 bajillion USB adapters. I don't know, they're not that versatile, I guess, right? This you can put on top of your shelves and shit, but I don't know, man. Plus, this has this, like, blinking mode where it literally just goes on, off, on, off. Like, I don't know why, like, I, I don't know, maybe, anyway. So, as it turns out, if you put these across 5 volts, they draw 1.6 amps, at least. And uh, yeah, that's not gonna be too good. So they're pretty much all in parallel. And what I have done, right, initially, right, I was like, yeah, man, let's just put a resistor there. Did my calculations, right? Yeah, 10 to 15 to 20 ohms, some shit. Yeah, why not? And then I was like, yeah, but that's gonna get hot. Like, should I use two? It's still gonna get hot. Like, do I put it in heat shrink? Then that's gonna get weirdly hot and then be soft and then if, he touches it, it's gonna be hot, it's suspicious, like, ah, pff, I don't know. It's wasting energy and shit, so yeah. So what I ended up going with is one of these uh, switch mode buck converters. <coughs> switching buck converters. I guess all of them are switching. Um, and yeah, this will basically have a quiescent current of zero, pretty much. Like, it's less than one milliamp. It's never gonna be in the quiescent state, though. Um, and they're incredibly efficient. You can actually, so the data sheet, I think, specs them up to 24. You can easily feed them 30, 32, I think I fed most. And they seem pretty stable at that, right? I haven't managed to kill one by ways of uh, over voltage, right? So anyway, so I um, have one of these. And the switch selects between two modes, right? And um, these are pretty neat because you have uh, a bunch of preset resistors. The values of which are too small for uh, actual reading, but what they do end up uh, achieving is 1.8, 2.5, 3.2, 5, 9, and 12 volts, right? And the topmost is this potentiometer, which you can adjust the, the whole range. Uh, so basically what you want to do is, if you do want a specific voltage out of one of these, you have to cut this trace here, right? So you got to cut in between these solder lines and bridge the one you want. In my case, I've cut the line, scraped, scraped the solar mask off of these tiny pads. Excuse the long nails, I'll actually cut them briefly. Um, so you cut the solder mask, and uh, so in my case, I'm using 3.3 volts, which yields about 200, 250 milliamps, and uh, the actual adjustment the actual uh, adjustable pad, which I don't know what exactly I set to, but it's like a pretty dim mode for like super chill moments and a bit more of an active mode, right? Where you do actually want some light coming off of these. So let's quickly show that and then the video is done, right? But this, this took me quite a while, right? I initially went with 3.3 and 2.5 volts and as it turns out 2.5 barely makes them light so i had to undo everything i already had it in heat shrink because i was like super sure and but yeah now like uh, white leds i should have known better anyway so so we have um let's actually adjust this for the all right so we have 12 uh, milliamps at 0 .6, 0 0.06 watts. And this gives us, I don't know, barely, like you can walk at night and find the toilet kind of type of vibe. And then you boost it up and it's one watt. And this is already, as you can see, this you could probably, 
I don't know, have two of these and you could probably read. Let's, let's call it that. The cool thing is, right, the switch goes from one position, position to the other, right? But if you actually hold it in the middle, what happens is no resistor is connected, right, to the module. And it actually lets 5 volts through, which in this case is quite a lot. So basically you can have a boost mode, right? And I don't know, at 1.6 amps, let's actually do the math right quick. How many globes are there? God damn it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So 1.6 divided by 20 is, uh, shit, how much is it, 0.8? Uh, so 800 milliamps divided by 10, 80 milliamps per LED, holy shit, that is, uh, that's a bit much, right? So you probably do not want to leave this switch in the middle. Ooh, why is it flickering? Holy goddamn shit, I am not making this again. Yeah, it's just a switch. Which, eh, whatever. It's fine. Alright, have a good one, guys. I'm out.